for you and my people to prosper and hold it down. Don't you sit and wait, contemplating on a revolution. The time is now. I just want to be free. I just want to be free. I just want to be free. Okay, okay, another episode of the Things I Wish I Knew About Money podcast. I'm your host, Camille Smith. Hi, hello, hello. Um, I, I bet y'all are wondering why this episode is so late and... Um, Woof, 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 woof. This year, family. This year. Let me tell you. Actually, I want to start it off on a good note because the plan for this episode is to be transparent and help others um, follow this journey that I'm about to mention. And but I like I said I want to start it off nice. Okay, so I got I finally got my calendar. Whoop whoop whoop! Big up frequency event promoters. Got that calendar, and I believe I have about thirty calendars. Um, so I'm gonna be doing a giveaway, and the giveaway is gonna start this Saturday coming up. Um. Uh, I believe uh, January 14th, I'm going to be able to provide my audience, my, my, my tribe, my family, all that good stuff, a calendar. And if you notice, like last year, November, you should ask for November. Ooh, look at this. Hey, book the Book the background. Book the background. Okay, okay. I see, I see it. You see it, team. Eh? Oh man, thank you again, Christopher Lawrence, for helping me um, become, you know, one of the small businesses that are promoted on your. You know, I'm. I feel like I'm part of his family because we've been going way back. Um, but you know, it's it's funny that it is episode one eleven. Because today is January 1st. Uh, sorry, not January 1st. January 11th. And it's actually, as soon as I wanted to record, I thought it was very ironic. So I just feel like, especially those numbers, I wanted to do something special and just be transparent as possible. Um, this year so far has been pretty uh, challenging. Uh, for the most part, um, and first of all, if you notice where I am, I'm in a different spot. I'm still in the same area, but I'm in a different spot. My laptop broke in half. Uh, not broken half, but it broke. Um, so the Saturday where I usually do lives, I was not feeling well. I could not record because I was literally popped down. And normally I can push through and give you guys an episode, but my mental capacity was at its all time low and I could not even think of a topic to to discuss. And then the day when the next day, Sunday, like I usually let listeners um, tune in, I was going to record, but my laptop was. (laughs) So when it rains, it pours, family. When it rains, it pours. So I just wanted, like, for the um, whole week, I I didn't know what to do because I, I had no laptop. Um, I'm actually carless right now as well. Like, my car is is just not in it in its best place right now so I don't have a car so this week 
has been really challenging. I have been taking Uber. I even had to take Uber to get my laptop in to repair. That's that's how crazy it's been. So my laptop is away for up to a week to three weeks. And when I heard that, my heart dropped. And I was like, oh, no. And I was really panicking because this weekend I actually am um, doing a webinar with Black Moms Connection. So I was really panicking. But the best thing about myself is even though I'm panicking, I also try to find solutions on how to do things. And I know I was dramatic with some folks. I'm like, ah. But I managed to calm down and just think about it. I got a webcam. I, I'm fortunate and I'm very thankful that I have a computer, that I'm still able to work. And I'm still able to do what I need to do. Um, I just like having a laptop. Um, so I'm able to do more stuff with, like, while I'm out on the road. And I really miss my car um, because it's, it's, I just learned that it's, I've been so accustomed to certain things. And the fact that I have to adjust, it's, it's really, um tricky so I mean I'm we'll see how the car goes I'm so many things are in my head with my car because I love my baby it's, I'm about to have celebrate my five-year anniversary with her so I'm really contemplating on next steps and um, but thank heavens that I have an emergency fund for times like this because any other time like that's why I always preach to everyone to have emergency fund for situations like this, because uh, shit happens, and a lot of shit has been happening. <laughs> However, um, the topic that I really want to preach, and I think it's the best thing, especially because it's the beginning of the year, is how did I get here? How did I get here? because um, I'm going to be really honest. I'm going to be truth. I'm going to be as transparent as, as possible. Um, I feel like 2022, I had failed financially. Um, I know this might be a shocking to some folks, but I am coming into terms with the mistakes that I've done in the past and also what I need to do to, to push through. And I'm going to do a list, you know, having two monitors now, it's actually really awesome. So if you ever see me looking away, um, it's me thinking and also it's me um, <laughs> reading my notes, but I actually have no notes. I've been thinking about this for the last couple of days and I really want to be honest with y'all so with starters um between my personal and my business I I'm drowning in debt <laughs> and I'm 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 saying this in a way I'm not laughing at it well sometimes you gotta laugh or you'll just cry right but I'm saying it in a way so that people that are in this situation, especially these trying times, um, can see the, the light ahead. Because even though I am smiling and all that good stuff, I know I have enough knowledge and, and I just need the discipline to be able to push through and, and, and win this. So I'm going to tell you guys how much I am in debt. I am I'm not going to give you the exact number. I'm going to give you close because I'm going to do a post about this as well. And, and then also I'm going to make this a series where I'm going to push through to get out of this debt. 
which is it's personal and business, right? So I'm over thirty thousand dollars in debt with my personal and business, right? Um, I'm not proud. I'm not proud of myself uh, with this, but I've come to realize that I <laughs> I try to be the super human person or superwoman, I guess you would say, and it bit me in my arse. I'll say one thing. Um, I let my ego and pride get the best of me because there was a time where I was like no 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 I just want to be an entrepreneur I just want to do my business Ah, ah, ah. I'm gonna push through I don't care because honestly I my vision for 2022 was I was going to reach goals granted I did reach goals actually it's it's the joke is between 2021 and 2022 I actually my business income actually did go up however it still didn't um, manage the expenses I had uh, with my personal and my business so even though Yes, I do have a budget, but there is so much things that happened where I wasn't able to, um, the business wasn't able to sustain my personal and, and business. So if you realized um, by June, by June, yeah, by June, and I'll, because I have Mint and I get to see this, by, by June, like 15th, I had gotten to a spot where I was like, Ooh, I need more cash flow because I, and I'll show you, like, I'm not going to show you guys, but beginning of last year, I was okay. I was okay. Um, by mid of last year, I realized I was not okay. <laughs> And that was because I was still grieving, still mourning, and trying to be this superwoman and trying to hold down the fort when I had, I didn't have the capability like my mom would to be able to do that. So by the time I decided, you know what? I have to go back to getting a job and and getting more cash flow. And mind you, there are close people in my life that told me like from probably 2021 or beginning of 2022 that I should have gotten a job just to like, you know, keep things consistent. And like I said, my ego and pride, I was like, nah, nah, nah. I want to do my business. It's going to be great. It's going to be amazing. Uh, this year, it, it's going to be better and stuff. And I will not show you, but I will, I will tell you what the increase was and to just reflect on why I had so much hope uh, with my business. So Mercury retrograde wants the best of me. I don't know if anyone saw that, but I'm I'm trying to. Um, this computer's a little old, so when it does some things, I'm just gonna pause and then keep it moving. So, because you know, I don't know how to edit. <laughs> but um, I'm just really trying to be transparent. By the time when I I said, you know what, I'm gonna let go of my pride and ego and. I, my goal is to have um, before my ego and pride was keeping me a hold 
Oh, I did this. I want to do it by percentage, not um, amount. So compared to last year, uh, in 2022 to 2021, my it was an increase of 5%, right? 5.5, I'm gonna round it up a little bit. My income increased like 5.5%. Obviously to me, that wasn't able to sustain my um, lifestyle. And mind you, the reason why it increased was because I also um, increased my prices as well. But I also had dilemmas with individuals paying me. Um, so last year was really humbled me. And I was just like, you know what, I'm, I'm going to swallow my pride and go back to uh, having a nine to five. So I do have my nine to five job, which is amazing because I'm still in the same um, environment industry that I want to be in. So I actually love it and I'm learning a lot and I'm just seeing how a different um, set of clientele are, are living. <laughs> And it actually pushes me to know that I'm, I know where I'm going and I know what I want to do. I know this is going to be amazing. So like, yeah, do I wish I was well off like I assumed I would be? Of course, of course. But I know that I have a lot of knowledge and, and, an experience that I'm going to push through. And if I'm able to help people do the same, I'm going to push through. And I know I'm going to hustle hard. So there's going to be times I'm going to be tired, but I am going to push through. And I just really want to, I'm, I'm planning to do like this series every quarter because I really want you guys to see the progress. And I, I'm, I promise, I promise, I'm not gonna cap. I don't know what you guys say these days. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I'm not gonna lie. I'm, I'm gonna say, hey, I, this quarter was amazing. I was able to knock off a lot or this quarter was shitty. Um, I'm okay to be transparent because this is my journey my personal finance journey and everyone's story is different. And even though I wanna put blame on others and stuff, I am I can only blame myself because I should have, I should have been proactive and catch this when shit was going down in like April. Uh, but at the same time, I am still grieving I am still, <laughs> honestly, there's days I shut down and I just don't want to do anything. And I also have to remember that my business is nonstop. And I, even though I have days where I just shut down, and I don't want to do anything. There's days I, I can't. And there's days I will push through and do it. I'm my business was the only thing that kept me sane um, in 2021 and and all that good stuff. So there are people that like when they when I want to hang out with people, but I'm working, I'm like, sorry, I'm working unless I can bring my laptop and work at the same time. Like I know a lot of people don't like that and they would just want that quality time. But I'm, I have a business. I I constantly thinking of things to write constantly thinking about content I'm hopefully trying to build a team so I'm able to actually push things out um, or get an intern I'm trying to think of ways for me to get more income streams um, that actually is going to be revenue and and profit so I can put it back into my business well back into my debt <laughs> That's the first thing. Um, I I even decided to 
um, get a different budget to see if me upgrading my budget system is is a way for me to see everything and be able to tackle this um, headstrong because yo, I'll tell you this fam. <laughs> There are days when people are in debt and they feel like they're they're pushing through. And I've been feeling like this this last two months that I feel like I'm pushing through. And then that, that interest comes and smacks you back. Oh, 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 my gosh. I can't even tell y'all. <laughs> I can't even tell y'all how... Um, no, I'm not going to say depressing, but like a big reality check hit me and stuff. So, and, and here, I'm even going to show you guys because I'm on my QuickBooks and I see everything, right? So obviously, um, actually in 20, so 2020, it, it was actually, I actually worked real, I bust my ass in 2021, actually like compared to the, like the income that I received I really bust my ass um and I, I thought I was doing well um I mean I for the most part I was but I'm definitely not where I want to be I am going to push to be where I where I want to be and I just I just want this transparent um episode so everyone realizes that I am not saying that I'm faking the funk or I'm fake it till you make it all that stuff because I I never preach that but I say always change your mindset and I will be honest my mindset hasn't been positive as of late anyone that is like really really talks to me <laughs> y'all know I'm trying but sometimes I just <clears throat> but I'm with grievance it's it's a wave like it comes and goes and I know there was days I was emotionally eating or emotionally not eating um I'm saying this as a more of like a testimony or or a journal of how my journey is gonna go in the next year and also anyone that is hearing this um if you are self-aware of your um, emotions or how you are dealing with grievance or breakups or heartaches, whatever it is, um, anything that makes you not the person you usually are, um, it is okay, but you also don't want to hinder your finances because it will cause you more stress. I'm literally been sick probably once a month. Once a month, I've actually been sick. Last year, every month, I was sick uh, to the point where people were like, you're sick again? My gosh. <laughs> to the point where like, yo, you're not doing what you're supposed to do. And I was like, I'm trying. So the last time I got sick, I acknowledged what happened. And I'm going to do better. I'm going to go back to the gym. I'm going to do everything. And I'm just, I, I hopefully someone gets this episode and, and understands why I'm doing this. Once again, it's, it's one eleven episode. So it, it means a little bit more to me than um, y'all ever know. And I never try to miss a day when it comes to y'all. Um, so I am going to have like, sh I'm going to pre-record a whole bunch of shit so I can be prepared. And like I said before, tell me what you guys want to hear. Also, whoever tells me what type of topics they want to hear, the first person that does, the first person that messages me on YouTube or messages is, wow, sorry, messages on Spotify because there's a section where you guys can answer. <laughs> um what kind of topics do you want me to talk about this year and I will have those short videos and you guys will win a, a calendar beep, 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 beep. um I once again I am 
taking control of my negative mindset. I am going to push through. I am going to succeed. I am going to do whatever it takes to um, get out of debt. Um, I am still going to try to live life to the best of my ability, but I'm not going to be um, popping bottles or anything. It's not like I do that already anyways. But I am going to be, I believe the method I'm going to do is a snowball method. Because when I show you guys the interest rate of all debt, and I'm, I'm only going to give you guys... Um, an estimate. I don't want to show you guys all, you know, all the things, but it is over thirty thousand. Um, I am not gonna lie about that. Every time I hit a milestone, I will um, announce it, and I will post it. Um, this is me taking accountable of my actions and my mistakes, and I hope someone is able to join me on this journey and wanting to do the same with themselves. Um, I still are able to help people get out of debt or invest or save and all that good stuff. I'm still going to be doing the 52 week challenge. Um, I'm going to repost Rennie's, um, lovely ones. She has one where you can save a thousand dollars for the year, 5,000, 10,000, 20,000, so on. I'm Honestly, it all depends on your um, your salary or how much how often you pay. I know for the folks that um, get paid based like on commission or irregular payments, y'all know how tricky it is. Um, and I know because I experienced that. And I always still, no matter what, every check I get or every pay I get, I put money away, so I'm always going to pay myself first. That is the only reason why I'm not stressing more than I am, um, even though I was stressing this week. Because my new car got on whoop my ass. And I just, once again, I just want to be transparent. I want someone to listen to this or watch this and be like, oh my gosh, I'm going to do the same thing and, and write down everything and see how I can get out of this. And you can do it. You can do it as long as you, you, you can see it. I've, I've been debt free, so I know I can do it again. Um, I just... I need to control my emotions. I need to control my bad habits. I need to control my vices. I know how to do it. And hey, if someone sees this and they don't want to um, follow my advice anymore, I understand. But when you see me um, at the end of the year, more than half done, I'm projecting that I'll be out of it completely because I'm going to bust my ass and I'm, I'm going to be saying no a lot. Um, I do want to try to use points, uh, points, um, my credit card points to go away before the tax season starts so I can refresh and then be able to go through. Um, but we'll see because between my laptop and my car, I don't know if all that is possible. <sighs> um, one lesson I want to, or tip or advice I'd want to give someone that is going through the same thing and is trying to figure out life as they grieve and how to handle it, whether it's, like I said, uh, a loss of a family member, a friend, a heartache, a heart breakup, whether it's friends, um, relationship, loss of a job, because that shit will, you know, make you feel like, or even troubles with your family, it will make you feel like you're alone. Uh, you're not alone. That's something I have to remind myself every day. You are not alone. You are loved, you are worthy, and you have the right, 
you deserve happiness, you deserve financial freedom, and you deserve to be financially fit. <clears throat> um, and make sure y'all like, subscribe, and if y'all want a calendar, you got a message through YouTube or Spotify. Um, just be kind to yourself. I haven't been kind to myself, obviously. Um, I'm trying to work on that and all that good stuff. But till next time, folks, I hope you all will stay positive and, and be kind to yourself. I know it's difficult. I know, especially it's a new year. New year, new year. Nah, just, just try to do better then. Be a better you as much as possible, right? And on that note, folks, this is really cool that I have two monitors now. <laughs> ah, make sure you like, subscribe, um, tell a friend if anyone's dealing with the same shit. Um, I will be posting about this and just, yeah, um, we can work through this together. Um, you're not alone. You don't have to be alone and push true. All right, folks. And on that note, let's see. Oh, gosh, darn it. And I know sometimes technology is my friend. Sometimes it's not. But until then, it will be right now. Yes. Financial literacy, knowledge is a most. So link the flip boss, watch the result flash, and watch your life change. And see a better cars. You have a business or a plan and want to make it. Yeah, flip and floss are the one to manifest it. Yeah, and if you want to better manage all your credit, call the boss. Flip and floss, no doubt, then we do it. Yeah, flip and floss, money literacy boss. Yeah, greatness in our blood because we're working for your cars. Mm -hmm. Flip and floss, money literacy boss. Yeah, boots up your knowledge for your minimal cost. Hey, yeah, flip and floss, money literacy boss. Greatness in our blood because we're Working for your cars, mm, flip and floss, money literacy boss, yeah. Hope up your knowledge for your minimal cost.